Hey everyone, this is Hunter. Welcome to the world of skull carving. Uh, so today what I'm working on is a deadhead. A uh, gentleman gave this guy to me. As you can see, it's been out for a while. It's got some bleaching on the antlers there. Um, but what I'm working on is some displays for uh, a couple of places. This one is going to go in a gun shop. Uh, Clark Brothers Gun Shop here in Warrington, uh, Virginia. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve it up, put it on a plaque, and then put it in the uh, gun shop to attract some, some new business. Uh, so with that in mind, I figured I could do some, uh, maybe like a silhouette or silhouettes of uh, like an AR-15 and something else on there, maybe something patriotic a little bit. But uh, I'm going to put the design on here, and I'll come back, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there and get started. Okay, so I got my pattern transferred, put on there. That's what I came up with. Pretty happy with it. Um, I'm going to start carving. I'll start on the top, kind of work my way down. Uh, so I had... This is what I'm using currently until I get a a real air powered rotary tool. Um, gave that on me last week. Pretty sure it's because I've got a aftermarket extension on there. Um, but go at it again, see how it goes uh, till I can get me a, another rotary tool. So I just wanted to show you really quick, if you're putting on a transfer like I did here of the pattern where you print it out and you put the paste on and you transfer the pattern that way, uh, it's going to leave just a tiny, really thin film on it. And as you can see, the pattern's still there. Um, so I'm going to show you how to get that off super easy. Just put on a wire brush, go over it. It won't. Uh, sand down the bone at all. It's not that strong, but strong enough just to pull off that little layer.
Okay, so now that I got the carving done, uh, we're going to go ahead and stain. What I'm using for stain today is Starbucks coffee. Yeah, so I went to Starbucks, I got two shots of espresso, and I boiled it down a little bit to the uh, consistency, the darkness that I wanted. And we're going to put it on there. Coffee is actually pretty good just because you can boil it down to make it darker or you can just simply add water to make it lighter. Uh, it's not a very harsh stain, so it works pretty well. So we'll start putting it on there and uh, see how it goes. Okay, there it is, all finished. Um, after I put the, uh, the coffee stain on there, I did do the antlers a little bit, just to make those a little bit darker. And I put a coat of polyurethane, just to let the coffee stain set, uh, wouldn't come off. Um, turned out pretty darn good, I like it. It's gonna go on a plaque right here. I'll put photos up on Facebook so you can see those. Um, I'm going to mount it on the plaque and then put my information on the bottom. But, uh, yeah, it was fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, hope you liked the video. Um, feel free to make any comments or ask any questions below. And also subscribe so that you see the next video that I come out with. Always working on something cool. And go to my Facebook page and like it because I post stuff on there every single day. Uh, it's pretty cool. So, alright, till next time.